Chapter 18, Devotion. Gotta be around here somewhere. You... You're... Lieutenant Colonel Klaus Waltz of the Imperial Army. This is Cremaria and her faithful knight Fenrir. <sighs> the Winter Witch? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm Captain Claude Wallace. I'm commanding this op in place of Captain Roland Morgan. Lord, so you're the leader of Squad E. My soulmate, we finally meet. Uh... I'm the commander of Ausbrook. After all the times we've clashed, it's a pleasure to see you in person. Never thought we'd see each other alive. Lady Luck works in mysterious ways. So you were the man in the black tank. Forsetti told me all about you, Claude Wallace. Now I finally have a face to put to the stories. They called you strange, but... incredible. Forsetti said that? Something happened to him. He's dead. Hmm. And you, over there, you've got his hair. So you're his sister. He told me about you, too. He did? Forsetti never talked much about himself, but he let a few things slip here and there. He felt pretty bad about the hell he put you through. I guess he had big plans to make it all up to you. Once he achieved his goal, he was gonna take asylum in a neutral country and live there. Just the three of us. The three of us. Together. So... He still loved me after all. Running away to atone for his sins. That's my brother, all right. Always did whatever he damn well pleased. Not what I expected from the infamous vaults. Yeah. Believe me, he can be absolutely insufferable. <laughs> and an in Incorrigible womanizer, besides. Not what you expected from the Winter Witch, either, I take it. The truth... is stranger than fiction. What happens to her now? I don't know. She's been through so much. More than she can handle, I'm afraid. Indeed. But we'll take care of her. I promise.
Almost a shame, really. I didn't intend to show my hand so soon. So be it then. Begin. Yes, Doctor. Now, come with me. There's nowhere to run on the Crystal Sea. Ah, the fruits of our labor. The miracle Al and I created. Valkyria induced Ragnite implosion. The ultimate source of power. I won't let anyone else have it. It's mine. All mine! <laughs> The Centurion! It's been harpooned! They're dragging it into the canal! He's after the bomb. Guess he wants to take it out to sea. But staging a one-man encore? Bad form, Doc. Bad form. Miles, Dan, Ronald, come here! We're going to board the Centurion and take it back. Th that's way too dangerous! How are we supposed to board it? We'll never catch up. Klaus. Yeah. Hey, you can borrow my tank. Lieutenant Colonel. To be fair, she's too beat up to fight. Just like me. But she can still run just fine. You of all people know how fast she is. I appreciate it. All right, let's go. Then hey, wait for me! Riley, you stay here and... If we run the ship back toward land, we can keep the sub from taking it. You're gonna play tug-of-war with a submarine? If we don't, they'll take the Centurion, with Angie inside! I'm the only one who can get the ship there fast enough. Take me with you. Okay. I'm counting on you to get it moving. Your wish is my command. You're in charge of backup, Kai. Right. See you soon. Okay. We should get going, too. <clears throat> Don't die out there. I will save her. Kinda reminds me of him. She's a real fine woman. <clears throat> hey, easy. I was talking about her integrity, not her ass. Hitting a tank against that metal monstrosity. They're all fools. Yeah, that's what I love about them. Through the madness of the battlefield, they held on to the things that smart people throw away. Innocence, honesty, recklessness. And then again, maybe that's just youth. No wonder a fossil like me couldn't beat them. I'm obsolete. <laughs> okay, we made it aboard. I already knew Imperial tank technology was cutting edge. But feeling that acceleration firsthand? What a rush! How's the engine room? Oh, looks all right. Can you get it running again? I'll try. Keep watch for me. How's it going? Ready! You boys pull those levers at the same time! Got it! Revving up the main reactor. Full speed ahead! <laughs> All right, it's working. It's down to a test of strength between us and them. 
Angie, if you can hear me, we need your help. The Centurion is resisting. Honestly, they always insist on doing things the hard way. Why can't they see? The reactor's true potential can only be realized in my hands. I would have thought Riley would understand at least. Well, I'll just have to move up my plans. Keep our guests entertained until then. After all, genius is 1% revelation, 99% improvisation. Hmm. been improving as a leader. Bet those orders you've been learning have something to do with it. Anyways, keep up the good work, Commander. Oh, hey! Take back the Centurion.
Kind of exciting. You'd better keep up. Awaiting further orders. <laughs> Let's do this! Alright, here we go! Ready and waiting! I've got this! Ready anytime, sir. My turn! Centurion's fate is in your hands, Captain Wallace. Our target is the submarine. Destroy the harpoons and give the Centurion a chance to escape. Squad E, move out! Reporting in and ready for action. All right, everyone. Listen up. That submarine is trying to steal the Centurion with those harpoons. There are six of them. The wire's too sturdy to cut. So, aim for the base of the harpoons and destroy them all. This is a deadlier opponent than any we've ever faced. Keep your eyes open and adapt to the situation. Squatty, let's get out there and save our ship! A corner. I can predict where it'll land, so keep your distance and stay out of the blast radius. This is an order. Find their openings. We need to take them out. Yeah, yeah. Found the enemy. I am a proud soldier. Pretty good. Hope the treads hold out. Understood. Operation.
Last straw. Steady. I am a proud soldier. went under. We can't do anything if it's beneath the surface. Our chance will come. We just have to be ready for it. Advancing! Rest. You 
watching. I'm on it. They got you in their sight! Medic! We got trouble! Ah, Reed, you need a break. Engaging! The enemy has begun their counterattack!
Squad E, here are your orders. Requesting supplies for the squad. Now advancing. I won't miss. Too easy. All allies have been taken out! Not anymore. Advancing! Riley, just watch me. Resurfaced! But why? Staying submerged would have been safer. Maybe the Centurion is pulling it back up. That's gotta be it! Angie's trying her hardest for us! This is our window of opportunity. Gotta be something we can use. There! That ice formation! We can use that to board the sub, then attack the base points of the harpoons on deck. Hit it as hard as you can before it resubmerges. Angie's doing her best, and so should we. I need them sorted now! 
Your performance in the previous battle was exemplary. Please accept this reward from headquarters. <sighs> they broke the bonds. Good. What now, Claude? Capture the vessel? Not yet. There's a ceasefire in place. Let them make the first move. Captain Wallace! We're fine, Marie. Emergency! Enemy soldiers have already boarded the ship! What? While we were fighting on the surface, they snuck aboard from under the sea. They're heading for the engine room. They must be after whatever's in the restricted area. Poons were just a diversion. Hello there, my dear. We meet at last. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Beyond my wildest dreams. I've worked on hundreds of Valkyria, yet none have radiated such beautiful azure light. It's even more brilliant than the glow of Ragnite. But I want to see the sun. Now, let there be light! It's a miracle. Do you see it too, Al? Clear as day. The Valkyria is reaching critical mass. Good. Good. All that remains is to measure it. I need precise data on the explosion. <laughs> Whose hypothesis will prove true, Al? Yours or mine?
What? What's that light? Ragnite? No, it's stronger than that! I've seen this before. But the Cavalier... The A2 bomb has been activated. Angelica! This is it. Our last mission. Of exciting. You better keep up. Awaiting further orders. All right, here we go. Ready and waiting. I've got this. Fine placement. Fine placement. I'll try my best. Hmm. All right. You're cleared for deployment, Squad E. Please, let's end this once and for all. Might be our final battle. Squad E, move out and destroy that submarine. Still skulking about, are you? Why are you meddling with our noble experiment? What is your goal here? Where is the logic in your actions? Why do you always, always, always try to measure things by your own metrics? How illogical, how unproductive, how despicably regressive! Understand my genius, you Neanderthals, you troglodytes, you knuckle-dragging Luddites. Heretics like you don't even 
even deserve to be burned by the sapphire flames of progress. Be gone with you. Leave this holy sanctuary at once. If Angie reaches critical mass, she'll explode. I will not let that happen. Cover me, Claude. I'll board the Centurion and keep her from detonating. The reaction's already started. Can you stop it? It should be possible. No, I'll make it possible. Trust me, I'm a scientist. <sighs> okay, I'll get you to the Centurion. Please, get Angie out of there. Dr. Miller's on the job. out. so long. Destroy them now! 
I'm trying to conduct an experiment! And even if Riley defuses the bomb, the war won't end until we end him. All right, everyone, we finished this. Here and now. Squad E, advance! Officer, I will not I'll fall go here. Call for their warfare is a different beat. Please be careful. They're being targeted. Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. Defy Al and me. Stay down there for long. Aim for the radiator, Claude. Try to get behind them. Good idea. Still, won't catch up by tailing behind. We need to predict where it'll surface or make it surface. Either way, it's our move now.
disappear. We're taking major damage. Yeah, right. for this moment we shall spark a scientific revolution to take the world by storm the promises we made the dreams we shared they're finally coming true oh, if only Albert could see this he should be here with me why did you do it Al? why did you deny me 
on to the next. Nice. Keep up the good work. Advancing! Hey. No, the treads! Genre. Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. Better not miss this one. You'll have to go. Let them struggle all they want. Okay, moving out. Raz, you watching? Right there! Hold up! Keep yourselves protected! How dare you defy Al and me! We're taking major damage! Can keep going. Get behind it somehow. Looks like the terrain is forcing the enemy to dive and surface at a select few points. If we can block the holes it's using, we'll limit its options. But how? I've 
Got it. If we knock over those ice formations, it might just work. Send an engineer and have them demolish it. Go! There's not a second to spare! I'll make it happen. Thanks, Minerva. and break that ice. We'll have to save the snow game for later. It worked! Splendidly done! Are you watching, Squad F? Perhaps we failed to destroy the Empire, but we shall defeat our true enemy. We will be victorious. There they are! Enemy spotted! You're being targeted! and break that ice. Determine our chances. How's this? Shall we begin? Leave this to me. How's this? Let's determine our chances. How's this? I remember that day, in that backwater Gallian sweatshop you called the factory. I offered you my hand, but you brushed it aside. You said you'd never join the Empire. Then you twisted the knife, and told me you had no intention of finishing our studies. Why did I go? I groveled at the feet of those pompous Imperials to rise through the ranks. And for what? It was all for you. To create the perfect environment for us to complete our research. We wouldn't have had to worry about funding, or deadlines, or red tape, or epics. I set the stage for us, and waited for you to join me. That result checks out. Nice shot. Yep, I'm on it. Hold on tight now. Here we go. Watch out! They're on to you! You're being targeted. The enemy has begun their counterattack. Nothing better than a nice hit. Yeah. 
forget to call for support whenever you need it. Thank you. Please don't put your life. Medic! Die, go die! The enemy has. Medic! Can you rise, please? Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. How dare you defy Al and me? Be gone! How dare you defy Al and me? Be gone! Yeah. We're taking major damage! Moving out.
take aim. Right, right. Looks like my time to shine. But you, Albert Miller, you betrayed me. You abandoned our dreams. It was only logical that you die. Against my wishes, you tried to kill our precious research, our dream. And if that wasn't cruel enough, you told me the Azure Light should never be born. That it wasn't meant to shine on this world should not exist for the sake of your daughter and her entire generation. On that day, your body died, but your legacy lives on. Just look at that beautiful blue glow. Our research, our hearts and souls made manifest. Our dream is finally being realized. That's right, Al. This is the light of our creation! The future we dreamed of! I forgive you for everything. Let's start over. Let's wipe the slate clean. A bit anticlimactic. They might be soldiers after all! I need them sorted now!
disappear. We're taking major damage. Much more. Carefully. Thanks to all of you. Now we can go save Angie. Wait a minute. Where's Riley? I can't get through to her. Is she still on the Centurion? Miles, head for the ship. I know it's dangerous, but please. You got it, Claude. Come what may, I'm ready to follow you to the ends of the Earth. Angie! 
Lady, please tell me it isn't too late. I'll save you! Poor Belgar. I killed the enemy, Lord Belgar. I did not fail. I'm not like Kiara. You are enemy. I'll kill Lord Belgar's enemies. Get out of my way! Riley, we're out of time. Go, go, go! Got it! <laughs> I'm fine. A little pain won't stop me. Angie, I'm coming. Wait. I have to go. Someone I love needs me. Someone I love? Lord Belgar. Lord Belgar. Where are you? Yara. <laughs> Angie. Angie. <laughs> the Imperials left this year. It must be forcing the implosion to happen. I can reverse engineer it. I can stop it. I can't lose Angie to this. Not to some sick, twisted corruption of Dad's research. I was such an idiot. I never even considered why Dad refused to give his work up to the Empire. I just completed the research and handed it over to the United Goddamn States, no questions asked. I wasn't ready to deal with the consequences. I only cared about revenge. <sighs> My blind hatred did this to you, Angie. So I promise I'll rescue you, no matter what. Dad did not invent Ragnite compression to hurt people. He didn't refine his theories to continue the cycle of hate. All he wanted was to make people happy. That goes for you too, Angie. You were born to be happy! I will... I will get you out of here! Can't you go any faster? Sorry, the road's really bumpy. Riley, answer me. Riley! Damn it! I can't get through. <laughs> Riley! You okay? I got Andy, but I can't quite. You saved her? I'm on my way. Where are you? The engine room's on fire. I can't move. And she's sleeping like an angel. A real angel. Riley, hang in there. I'm fine. Hearing your voice takes my mind off it. Okay. W what can we... Uh, I know. Let's talk about Hoffen. Hoffen? I want to go home. And we will, really, really soon. You're gonna rebuild that factory, right? You 
remembered. I was serious, you know. I got big plans. Ideas to patent. Inventions to design. If I can just get the money, I can start any time. God, here I am, burning to death. I'm talking shop. Can we talk about something romantic? Uh, sure. How about the Star Child Festival? Yeah, not bad. But we can't get those medals anymore. We're all grown up now. Raz and Kai are gone. We can't turn back the clock. Some parts of childhood you can only appreciate as an adult. When we get back, let's make some new memories. Happy ones. Sounds nice. Lots of memories on the battlefield. But those ones are kind of depressing. Riley! We've got so many happy memories to make back in Hoffen. You and me together. Riley? Uh... Riley! Your light is mine, and mine alone. But if I can't have it, no one can! Lord Belgar. Oh, Nicola. Thank God you came back to me. Did you... fail? No, of course not. I have so much left to do. Hurry and help me up. We need to get to the Centurion and... I fail, Lord Belgar. You are a failure. Nonsense. I never fail. Quickly, Nicola. I know. Let's go together. <laughs> Good girl. Now, there's no time. Let's hurry. Don't be scared. We'll only hurt for a moment. The self-destruct switch? When did you... No more failures. Just like you wanted. Kiara is waiting for us. Come, Lord Belgar. N Nicola, stop! Don't you dare! I command you! Quick. 
trapped here. She's going down. It's only a matter of time. Don't give up yet. No different from what we always do. When things are at their worst, we find a way through. That's true. That's Squad E. Our friends are always there for us. But we're alone. We're stuck alone on the ship and there's no one left to save us. <sighs> the end, isn't it? He's right. We only made it this far because of our friends. Our squad. Their hopes. Their dreams. Their sacrifices. Now it's my turn to be a sacrifice. And that's all there is to it. Hey, Raz. Looks like I did get a little stronger. I'm sorry that it... it wasn't strong enough. <laughs> I tried, man. I gave him my best shot. I swear. Until the very end, our most stalwart friend, and the finest soldier of us all. One sword at least I 
we first set out, all we really knew was that we had something worth fighting for. None of us could have foreseen what the fight would cost us. And maybe... Maybe we'll never know if it changed us for the better. But in the end... Through all the hope... All the tragedy... The things I hold on to are the memories of my friends, of their smiles. It was a battlefield, but it was where we grew up. With the unexpected announcement of a ceasefire, the Second European War came to an abrupt end, leaving soldiers and civilians alike to count the Eastern Theater's almost unfathomable losses, a death toll numbering over 10 million. It had been a global war, a conflict beyond anything the world had ever faced. Historians speculate that the ceasefire saved Europa from a cataclysmic drop in population. Yet the truth of Operation Cygnus and of the Valkyria themselves was swiftly hidden from the public eye. And so this story of those who crossed the frozen sea passed into history untold. Our wars end. For your outstanding service to the Federation, our government has awarded you the Federation Star of Valor. Is this your first time here? Welcome to the infirmary. Well, we're actually equipped to help with more than just medical affairs. We can provide all kinds of support here. Just remember that we're here to help you, in and out of combat. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, you're heading out? Well, there's a lot we can do for you here. We hope to see you again. Just... The Centurion can now sustain even more intense training for each of your combat classes. Your squad members can grow even stronger now. Push your troops to their limits and dominate the battlefield. <laughs> Push yourself! Nicely done! You're a level hu- You've been promoted to Scout Paragons. Fantastic work! Shock Troopers, you've been promoted to Trooper Paragons. Congratulations! Lancers, you've been promoted to Lancer Paragons. Well done! Engineers, you've been promoted to Engineer Paragons. I knew you could do it! Snipers, You've been promoted to Sniper Paragons. Congratulations! Grenadiers, you've been promoted to Grenadier Paragons. Wonderful! Done for the day? best right after a mission. Raz! A Angie? Uh, crap. Okay, uh, well, this isn't like... Is that a cigarette? Uh, yep. Yep, that, uh, that, yeah, that's a cigarette. It kind of reminds me of home. Huh? Wait, Angie, you can remember stuff now? Just a little. I don't know for sure, but I think my papa smoked too. He'd sit out on the porch and look out over the empty farmland and drink from his bottle. And he'd smell just like this. Oh, uh, sorry. I can put it out. No, it's okay. I actually don't mind the smell. Really? That's weird. I thought women and kids are supposed to hate this stuff. If they didn't, I wouldn't have to sneak around like a thief in the night just to get a smoke. <sighs> You're not allowed to smoke? Will your captain get mad at you? Uh, not exactly. I just have a friend who doesn't like me smoking. And I don't want him mad at me, so... I... I told him I quit. <gasps> You're in love with them, aren't you? What? Well, I mean, I, I, I guess I... You're gonna give up something you like for the sake of someone you love? That's amazing, Raz! You're so cool! 
Well, I'm only out here because I can't stop doing something I like. Anyway, that's the deal, so can we just keep this between you and me? I gotta keep Raz's smoking a secret. Okay, it's a secret. I promise. Right, it's a promise. <laughs> oh, and another thing. You can't smoke here anymore. Huh? Why? You said you were okay with it. I'm okay with it, but these sheets are for the sick bay. You can't stink them up. And besides, Pi sometimes comes here to get fresh air. Yeah, fine. I get it. I'll be careful. Hey, wait! H how'd you know it was Kai? You just told me. <laughs> Good luck, Raz! This is adult stuff, damn it! Keep your nose out of it! Okay! Oh, goddamn kids these days. myself this would happen. I thought I was ready. I guess you can't know how it feels until you actually lose someone. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I'll never forget what it was like to fight at your side. Okay, time to go. Crystal Ward, I will fight at my commander's side once again. Yo, told you I was invincible. I'm Zyga, Raz is second in command. Don't screw with me or my bro will come beat you down. Anytime you need. Steamy ceasefire. Easy, Rags. It's not even meal time. Oh, wait. It's later than I thought. That's odd. It's been hours since Claude left on recon. He and the others should have been back a long time ago. Too, boy. The lizard's getting pretty bad. I hope they're okay. Try again, Marie. Any word from Claude? Nothing. The storm brought all communications down. I knew reconnaissance in this weather was a bad idea. But we couldn't ignore that report, if there's even a chance the enemy is planning an ambush. We really have no choice but to confirm. In these temperatures, 
Even the antifreeze will freeze over. I'm afraid I can't order a search party. If they don't return soon, we'll have to depart without them. No. How long will this damn blizzard last? You'd better get back here alive, Claude. so hard every step is like sinking in quicksand not to mention these winds just trying to stand straight is like fighting against a tide it's do or die everyone just a little further we won't make it much longer this blizzard's got a couple hours left in it we have to find cover or else what uh. enemy soldiers 12 o'clock. Are those the imps laying an ambush for us? No. Judging from the rank and file, they're probably a recon team like us. I'd rather not engage in these conditions, but... Whoa. Guess we don't have much choice. Dead Eye Kai. And my grenades are frozen stuck. I can't fire anything. Stay calm. The enemy's just as handicapped as we are. I don't think either side can engage, to be honest. Uh, kind of late to get cold feet. Besides, they're just grunts. Leave it to the Invincible Raz. Wait. Can't miss it, point blank. Eat lead. What the? <laughs> Get a load of this filthy dark sin. His barrel's frozen over. The dumbass. Well, well. Seems Federation gear can't handle the cold. Raz, retreat! <laughs> Too late! You're dead! Huh? Uh... Looks like our guns froze over, too. <laughs> Goddamn piece of scrap metal! Ah! Holy crap! He just threw that machine gun one-handed! Those things weigh a ton! Yeah, so what? I've got a heavy machine gun! You think the men of the North will lose to a bunch of pansies who prance around with girls? So what if I'm female, you knuckle-dragging grunt? I am a lieutenant, and more woman than you can handle! If you don't like me looking down on you, then first you'll have to prove you're stronger than me! Crap! We're out of stuff to throw! Then we go for close quarters combat! Oh yeah? Put up your dukes! <sighs> now they're throwing punches. Give me a break. That's enough, all of you! Huh? Everyone stop it! What? It was just getting to the good part. I take it you're in command here? Yes. Looks like we both got lost scouting the area. Yeah. We're in a real jam, truth be told. The weapons don't work, as you can see, and our winter gear won't last. We were just looking for a place to wait out the blizzard ourselves. Now, we're completely lost. We both need all the help we can get. Agreed. Let's call a ceasefire for now. The 
<laughs> it's so cold. I can barely shiver. Good. The moment you stop shivering, you die. Stay moving to keep your body heat up. I don't need advice from the likes of you. And don't walk over the fresh fallen snow. Step in our tracks to make it easier on you. Don't be stubborn. It's life or death here. Fine. I get our guns crapping out, but shouldn't yours be built for this kind of thing? Look, this is way colder than a normal Imperial winter. And even if our gear worked, we couldn't hit the broadside of a bunker in this blizzard. Excuses, excuses. At least the part about missing is true. <laughs> you couldn't fire a single shot, you filthy Darkson. And who's the bozo who couldn't shoot a Darkson? I envy those clowns. Do they ever run out of steam? How dare he fraternize with the enemy? Emergency or no, the sight of it makes me sick. Does that look like fraternizing to you? What else would you call it? Mm -hmm. So this is the real Winter Witch. Yes. I'm surprised you've heard that old folk tale. The blizzard's so cold, our ancestors called it black magic. Pretty terrifying when you think about it. Yeah, and there's two hours to go. How can you tell? Call it a hunch. I've got a knack for picking up changes in the weather. But if we hadn't come across you, we'd be dead in the snow. The Winter Witch's latest victims. Just having extra bodies to block the wind is a lifesaver. But the looks of it? Your men took the windward side. I appreciate that. No thanks needed. Chivalry isn't completely dead. I have to say, I'm glad our weapons malfunctioned. We were this close to outright killing each other. We may have lost our bread and salt, but at least we have our vodka. Huh? Old Imperial saying, like you say in the West, every cloud has a silver lining. Feels strange breaking bread. Moments ago, we were staring down each other's barrels. Guess I'll have to count my blessings. Hmm? Blizzard should be dying down soon. There's one more blessing to count. Uh, the blizzard's died down, but I'm still freezing my balls off. Surrounded by so much white, it's hard to tell if we're even moving forward. <laughs> hey, Claude. Why doesn't that area have any snow? Huh, you're right. Those rocks over there aren't covered at all. Oh, could it be? Hmm, huh. what's the matter? I need help over here. Come on, gather around. So, Claude, what's so special about these rocks? Can't you tell? The snow is being melted from beneath. Ah, of course. And that means... Do you have any explosives? We have grenades, but the pins are frozen stuck. Let me see them. But sir, we need them in case of an emergency. That's what this is, and it wasn't a question. Hand them over. Um, yes, sir. Squad E, take out all the grenades and explosives you have. Riley, set them up to make as big a blast as possible. Um, Claude? An explosion won't keep us warm for long. If we want to fire, we need fuel first. Don't worry. Center it on the crevice over there. Please, trust me on this. I don't get what you're going for, but if you insist, I'll wave my magic wand and grant your wish. All right, I'm gonna ignite it. Take cover. Is 
Is that... a hot spring? This geothermal groundwater melting the snow. Amazing! Oh, the temperature's perfect! <laughs> yes! Take that, Winter Witch! We're gonna make it! Oh, hell yeah. Without further ado, I'll take first dibs and... Hold it. Huh? Ladies first. Do you really expect me to just sit here and wait? What's wrong with you Federation soldiers? Where's your manners, man? <laughs> this guy couldn't get a girl if his life depended on it. Objections here. Women first. Goddamn imps. We'll take you up on that offer. If you'll excuse us then. Freeze! So long as I draw breath. None shall peek! Minerva, aren't you gonna join him? I'm standing watch. Can't drop our guards around these Imperials after all. Ah, oh, don't get your panties in a bunch. You wish we were that desperate to see your tits defrosting. Uh, excuse me? So, uh, are all Federation women like this? <laughs> I'd say they're exceptions to the rule. Boy, are they aggressive. Ladies first my ass. Seriously, they're rougher and tougher than any man I know. But let me tell you, gals back in the motherland. Action. Modesty's actually a virtue for them. Always there for her man, but never overstepping her bounds. Now that's a girl worth fighting for. Shortest pigs. What did you call us? You're so hung up on your Madonna whore complex, you don't even care that your government is oppressing all its people. Quiet, you harlot! The Empire's traditional values are what keep it prospering. Unlike like you Federation degenerates. Values? Is that what you call violence and oppression? Oh, that's rich coming from a fed. Or are you too busy painting your nails to see what's going on in your own colonies? Come again? Need I remind you who started this war in the first place? It's that murderous tyrant you call an emperor! And here you are trying to lecture me. <laughs> You're beyond help. Oh, would you shut up already? Women shouldn't butt their pretty little heads into politics to begin with. What? This is what happens when females are allowed on the battlefield. That's right. A woman's place is at home, a man's at war. So get back to the kitchen and make us a sandwich. <sighs>
Looks like the blizzard's over. Like you said, two hours on the dot. Impressive. Communications are back up. We're gonna hunker down and wait for evac. We'll be gone by then. I'd rather not have to shoot you. <laughs> Never expected you feds could be so... fun. Not to mention, that was one hell of a view. <laughs> <laughs> well, until we meet again. Next time, it'll be on the battlefield. Hey, you. Yeah? That rifle... Uh, you a sniper? I assume you are, too. I may not look it, but they call me Deadeye. Quite a firearm there. I've never seen camel like that. Thanks. My wife designed it for me. I see. Just like she was supposed to, huh? The virtue of a modest female? I love her. And I'd like to think she did it because she loves me. <laughs> I guess we're both fighting for someone we love. Can't save everyone. All we can do is hold on to the one thing that matters most and protect it with our lives. That's why we have no choice but to fight. <laughs> My commander told me that one. The one thing that matters most, huh? So if our paths ever cross again, may the best sniper win. Right back at you. See you on the field, Deadeye. You too. Godspeed, friend. Say, Riley, you want to go up on the deck with me? Up top? The sun's already gone down. Won't it be cold? Yeah, that's why it's perfect timing. Come on. Wow. This is amazing. Isn't this... That's right. It's an aurora. This is the first time I've ever seen one. I heard they're super rare, even this far north. Don't tell me the Aurora talks to you, too. You basically have to get lucky to catch one of these. But there weren't any clouds today, and the sky's dark with the new moon out. All the conditions were right, so... So you did predict it. It's incredible. I never thought I'd live to see something like this. This is the first time for me, too. I guess we both got really lucky. Yeah. We've seen all kinds of miracles and good fortune out here. And losses. And bad luck, too. But we made it this far. We got through all that. This is kind of familiar, huh? Like after the Star Child Festival, when we'd all look up at the night sky, together. Yeah. After you left Hoffen, the sky was all I saw for a long time. I made it out here, so I must have turned my life around somehow. But sometimes, I wonder if I've really changed. <laughs> I forgive you. What? I think you have. Changed, I mean. And if it's coming from me, you know it's gotta be true. Right? Yeah. You're right. So, I forgive you, okay? Thank you, Riley. B but you're not off the hook yet. Once this war's over, you're going to help me start up my family's factory again. Of course. <laughs> With pleasure. You sure you're excited about it? You got a whole lifetime of hard work ahead of you, mister. A lifetime? Yep. 
You'll be working for me until you're an old grandpa. Well, I... If that's what you want, then I'd be happy to. Huh? <laughs> Well, I... Uh, I didn't mean anything weird by that. So... Uh, wow, it's really chilly. We should totally head inside. Uh, uh, <laughs> stay a little longer. It's almost ready. I promise you're gonna love it. a lot in the sky. My sorrow didn't give me much, but I did get this. It's not bad, as far as presents go, right? Yeah. I swear, we will live to see Hoffman again. We will. Together. Yeah. Together. Andre! What are you doing? Whatever we can. You're joining the fight? That's crazy! I am the navigator of the Centurion. It's my duty to watch over her, through thick and thin. You're sailors, not foot soldiers. Frontline is no place for you. I went through boot camp too, uh, maggot. Or are you calling me a maggot? No, that, that's not what I meant, but... The Centurion's our heart, and our home. We ain't gonna let some hulking tin fish haul her off! Andre... We're all on the same page. A navigator and a radar man are nothing without their ship. But as soldiers, we can help get the Centurion back. Please, let us join you. Okay. We need all the help we can get. All right. Let's do it. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. I'll be joining the front lines from this point onward. Brian Haddock, reporting for duty. Oh, you know me by now. Sergio Mosquilaire, doctor at large. You know me. Why do I gotta introduce myself? Uh, fine. Andre Dunois. Happy? Then get your ass back to work. I'm Luf. The hell are you looking at, maggot? Moving out. There they are. 
Enemy sighted! There they are! Looks like the enemy's footprint. Right there! That was wonderful! Another job well done! Enemy sighted! Moving out. Fire! Watch for interception fire. How dare you defy Al and me? In order. Find their weak link and break through it. This is an order. Find their openings. We need to take them out. in order. We want as many as we can in that blast radius.
we first set out, all we really knew was that we had something worth fighting for. None of us could have foreseen what the fight would cost us. And maybe... Maybe we'll never know if it changed us for the better. But in the end... Through all the hope... All the tragedy... The things I hold on to... Are the memories of my friends. Of their smiles. It was a battlefield. But it was where we grew up. Headquarters has decorated you with this medal. Congratulations!